Gente, bienvenidos a todos a un nuevo vídeo aquí en nuestro canal. Como ya saben, tercer capítulo de este más Pay 3. Así que lo dicho, sin más dilación, decirles que en la descripción tienen nuestras redes sociales, canales de Twitch, Trovo y demás. Y lo dicho, vamos a por ello a comenzar este tercer capítulo. ¡No, vas en eso! ¡De más Pay 3! Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I had no idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. <laughs> the slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Aquí vamos a tener que pegar parte de rejazo. Think about what would be no happening on that video feed now. Just my own ningún. imminent cameo. No, no recibimos daño ninguno, así que cosa cosa muy importante. Vamos para allá. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. Están muertos. Esa y esta. Pero siempre vamos a llevar la del silenciador que es la que tenemos nosotros. Vamos a disparar esta para que tener... 
Ya nos quedó. Ah, está el derecha. Está en derecha. Toma. Simba. Buenas noches. Venga, en la barriguita. In de intestino. Vaya, mi gente. Supone, ¿no? ¿Dónde es esto? Vamos para aquí. O sea, yo es que se traba esto a este tío, por eso no. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. Hay apenas, se nos escaparon ahí por poquito, pero bueno, vamos para allá a seguir. Aquí un poco ahora de investigar esto, me imagino por aquí. Caminar por acá más. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money. But it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. I was in a cocaine factory, but I'd stick to the depressants. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. Vale, a ver si aquí metiéndonos aquí podemos solucionar algo. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. The coke in the air wasn't doing anything to sharpen my thinking. Was there a switch in that room? Sinceramente, no sé lo que tengo que hacer ahora. Voy a 
reparar algo, no, no sale nada. Ah, coño, aquí, joder, así hay yo. Ay, hostia, corto lío y al final el botón ese, ahí lo pasé por delante de... Traba eso ahí, coño. Fiesta, pues bueno. oh, oh, la granada, la granada, fuera de ahí. Un Cristo y la puta virgen. Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Por ahí, por ahí. No, esta parte costó, eh. Esta parte costó bastante, pero bueno. Vamos ahí. Seguimos vivos, que es lo importante. Me 
had to keep on going across the docks. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well. Dando. Cortando a este, pero lo estamos sacando para adelante. ¿Qué es lo importante? Ahora viene el compañero, viene el cofre ahora, viene la bomba. Cuidado, cuidado con eso. Pero va a salir volando. ¡Wow! Increíble esta escena. I like this. Venga, vamos a la lancha, va. Operation was slipping out of our grip. 
I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Oh, shit. More company! de loco
civilian tourist office should get a load of this. Venga, venga, vamos, vamos. All about it. Shows a different campaign. Vamos, Raúl, pasos, vamos, pasos. Que te vea dos horas, tío. The place was crawling. How many guys they got? How many poor kids want nice sneakers? It ain't hard to hire. They were on them again. Llega la parte clave. Si, Fabián. Who's up, Bob? Que esta mujer, tío. No, no, no. Ya <risa> que la lío. Tenemos otro trofeito a este. Primera parte completada. Vamos a Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. <sighs> Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. What is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Ah. 
You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. But it feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. Like that was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. Oh, What's going on? Nothing to worry buddy. about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, now. Now. <laughs> Let's go. Sure, que massacre aqui agora. Let's go, come on. Okay. Let's go, baby. Come on. The 
real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Can we go, please? I'm going to go right after them, yeah? No, I'm going to go right after them. This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Yo te diste contra la mesa, rey. Vamos, vamos, vamos. We gotta go. Fabricas para. It's through here. Venga, venga. Idemos. Venga, vamos. Quiero. Hey, the server room is just past those cubicles. Esto sí me suena que es la sala de junta. ¿Qué gente arriba? Mire, no, no me di cuenta. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? How can I keep alive if you hit 10,000 bullets? Hey! server back online can we just spend a few more minutes make Eight. sure they're all gone <laughs> come on don't worry i got your back poor kid was scared shitless but i thought we'd seen the worst of it okay the, the server room is just down here you're doing good come on hey i just i didn't think i'd have a day like this when i wake up in the mornings <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. ¿Cómo puede ser? ¿Cómo puede ser que no tenga nada? ¿Qué 
que no puede ser que no tenga balas, tío. Es que no puede ser que no tenga balas, cabrón. Pues yo granadas y de todo, tío. Me tengo los huevos. ¿Cómo puede ser, tío, que le pegue tantas balas a este tío y no muera? Vamos, lo conseguimos, joder. Vamos, lo conseguimos, joder. Vamos. Sí, señor. Coge munición, coge munición, Max, venga. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Yo creo que tengo tres balas. Tres balas, man. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Sí, bueno. Now Esta I parte... need to make it to the lobby to Ahora, complete the sweep porque... of the building for what that was worth. Porque no tengo bala. One of the perks of working sí, no, for Fabricas Bronco. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo. Educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. No, tío, no. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
coger bala. Tengo que coger bala. Yo sí. Es que es imposible, es que no tengo munición. No tengo munición. Joder. Así es imposible, tío. It looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. La otra puerta. Por aquí. Vamos. Estamos a punto de acabar este capítulo. Capitulito, gente. Vale. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna find up there, but I sensed it wasn't gonna be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Señor Branco, Señor Branco. I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Yo ya tenté. Señor Bronco, open up. Gente, atentos a lo que viene ahora. I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Shit. God damn it. <laughs> of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Ah. 
siendo sincero, de esto sí que no me acordaba, gente. Blind luck. De esto sí que no me acordaba. Venga, vamos, a levantar. Vale, 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 Perfect. If I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Shit. If I survived this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. Vaya, vaya. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Rodrigo or not, Fabricas Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. It felt like I was burning from the inside out. I had to go. Yo, oh, well, up here, Robert. Oh, my God. Vamos, vamos, que tenemos que escapar de aquí más. Pues la otra, venga. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Yo le digo yo que la siguiente misión a esta gente es para mí de de las par de veces que he jugado Final Fantasy III la mejor la mejor sin duda. 
Why Rodrigo Bronco? Y bueno, yo lo verá la semana que viene, obviamente. Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill you. Because what you did to us. You killed so many of us. What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? What? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? That Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. I was a mess. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was gonna have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. You're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me this before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was do 
you a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. He lost, kid. Speak English? Uh huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É isso. Jesus. I had found myself a tour guide. Bueno, pues gente, vamos a dejar el tercer capítulo aquí de Más Pain. Volveremos la semana que viene el capítulo número 4 ya en la favela, ¿vale? Y alguna que otra misioncita más. Un placer y lo dicho, nos vemos pronto. Muchísimas gracias y hasta luego.